how to take a Formica countertop and make it look like real marble. So I painted my countertop. Before it was this kind of like off grayish white color and it just, it was very outdated, did not look good. So I decided to paint it to look like marble. So what I did was paint it and I will show you that in this video. And then I put epoxy on top of it and it left it with this smooth, shiny surface that you can clean. It looks great. You'll trick people into thinking it's real marble, but let's get into it. I started by cleaning the countertop, then removing any caulking, and then doing three coats of Amy Howard's Bajas Buff One Step Paint. And then I got my gray and white paint ready, some paint brushes, some sponges, in a squirt bottle full of water. So I'm just getting that gray paint wet and I'm going to draw some strokes. So throughout this video I have a picture of the actual marble that I'm going off of so kind of paying attention to how the veins look in the picture of real marble helps a lot. So now I'm just drawing on those veins and they don't have to be exact because next step is to dampen a sponge and then just blot that streak to blend it in. And the key to painting marble is layers. So now I'm taking a dry, very soft brush and just stroking over that vein to blend it out even more. And now I have a sponge with white paint, the same paint I used to do the base coat, and just going around the gray vein, and a little bit over the gray vein. You can see it start to really blend in with the countertop here. Taking that dry brush again and just blending it over again. And it's really repetitive, just going back and forth with the veins, the sponge, the brush, the white sponge, the brush again, And if you have a little area that's harder to blend with a sponge, you can, oh, and if you make a mistake, just turn it into a vein. But if you have a little a bit of a harder time blending in a spot, you can take the squirt bottle and dampen that spot on the countertop to blend it better. So it's really repetitive. Just keep drawing more veins, or I should say painting, painting more veins sponging them, brushing them, sponging them again, brushing them again, and just continue adding layers and pump layers until you get the desired look that you want. And I wanted this to be mostly white, but you can definitely tell that there are some gray veins, so that is the look I was kind of going for. And the layers are essential. You really need to build up layers for it to look like real marble. If you were to just do a few strokes, it you would be able to tell it's fake. But by layering up and giving it dimension, it kind of tricks the eye into thinking it's real marble, even though you painted it. And this is a great alternative to real marble because this whole countertop project cost $20, I believe it was, in epoxy because I had 
all the other supplies already on hand, the paint brushes, the paint, everything. It helps to use what you have, basically. So now I'm just doing a bit darker. I mixed a little bit of black in with the gray to give darker veins more dimension. And I'm just going over where I did all of those lighter veins. So for the veins that are closer to the top, I am not blending them out as much as the veins I was in the start. They're a bit darker. I want them to kind of be seen. I don't want them to be blended completely because I want to be able to see a bit of the streaks. As you can tell right here, you can still kind of see the line. And I tried using a bunch of different brushes, feathers, um, softer brushes, harder brushes, and what I found works is what you see in the video. So here is the finished top, and now Will and I are just pouring the epoxy. I had my camera die on me here, so you don't get to see the entire thing, but it's a pretty simple process. Follow the instructions on the back of the epoxy box, and I realized that it's easier to pour the epoxy starting at the top of the backsplash and letting that fall down and then spreading it across the whole tabletop. your countertop to look like marble and I wanted to go over the epoxy a little bit more because I didn't really show much of it on the video but here is what I use you can get it at Home Depot it's $20 it's 20 or $25 I think it's $20 I'll put a link to it in the description but basically it comes with two parts and you mix them together in some mixing cups and then you pour it directly on the countertop and I found that when you pour it on the backsplash first and let that fall down and then spread it throughout the rest of the countertop unless you don't have the backsplash pieces but I do that is the best way to do it um, I just follow all the instructions on the box for doing this and I used a straw to blow out all the bubbles after it was sitting. And usually you would use a heat gun or a blowtorch, something like that, to add some heat and pop the bubbles. But I just, I didn't have one. My flame 
torch broke. So what I did was use a straw and just go over and blow out all the bubbles as best as I could. And I mean, it, it worked really well. I don't really see any bubbles in it. Also, the epoxy is self-leveling, so that's great. So thanks for watching, and I look forward to sharing all the other home renovation projects I have, like the rest of my bathroom. I'm going to share how I painted the tub and tile and added that wall and do a full tour, all that jazz. So be sure to subscribe, and thanks again. Bye. People act People act People act